Let me tell you, this country, well, that's why it's so painful. The first time this country borrowed money was in 1964. Mm. In September 1964, the then Prime Minister mm. of Nigeria, Tafa Balawa, mm. wrote World Bank a letter saying, I want to borrow $82 million to build the Kanj Dam facility to generate 760 megawatts of electricity. 64. In reply, the World Bank said, we thank you for, for, the, for development of my country. The World Bank replied and thanked him while granting him the loan and said, ABC, that it is a step in the right direction. That, that money borrowed in 1964, in today's value of money is about one billion. Mm. So in 1964, we were able to borrow money, we were generating about a thousand megawatts. 58 years after, we we're doing 4,000. It's unbelievable. Let it cross. It shouldn't be. We're the biggest economy in Africa. We're the biggest country. The number two biggest country in Africa is South Africa. We're 200 million. They are 60 million. South Africa is generating 54,000. Megawatts. Yes. 50,000. That's what we're doing. The number three country in Africa is Egypt. They are generating 55,000. What is even worse, more worrisome, Egypt own, Egypt own, between 2015 mm. and 2021, between 2015 and 2021, mm. Egypt have been able to double their own from 26,000 plus to 55,000. And that's why I said, even if you don't know what to do, let's go to Egypt and tell them, please, what did you do that in, in this six years you doubled this? Can we go and learn if we don't know how to do it? That's what I've always done in my life. If I don't know how to do it, I go to you and say, oh, please teach me. So we have become a country that cannot do anything. We can't even learn. It's impossible to go. Egypt is not here. This is not, uh, we're not talking about going to America now. Egypt doubled their listen. Vietnam mm. from 2015 to 2021 doubled theirs from 38,000 to 76,000. You were asking me about production. In terms of land size, to tell you that we're not a person, in terms of land size, Nigeria is 930. 923 square kilometers of land. Vietnam is 331,000 square kilometers. So one third of Nigeria. In population, they're 50. They're, 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 five, they're 50 percent because 100 million. Their total export last year was 312 billion dollars. We couldn't even export 30 billion. They are not talking about first world now. I'm talking about the, and all Vietnam export less than 1% is natural so resources. The rest are production. Electronics, phones, textile, mm. 32 billion. So they end to wise, more than two wise, but we earn from oil from exporting clothes. Footwear, 23 billion. Just shoe and that they're doing a buy here. What is happening here? That's why I say we move it to product. And we have but really, but, and but, 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 but really, what is happening? So what is happening? So I've because told I, I, I've told listened you, to you and I also power, let me tell good. you, it cost Egypt. I went with somebody. It cost Egypt about ten billion dollars to generate almost twenty thousand. We are owing 120 billion. Let's say, I told you before about Tefabalawa, 
Tefa Balawa used one billion today's money to generate one thousand. We are owing one twenty billion. Assuming we use a third, a third of that money, you're talking about infrastructure mm. to invest in power. We would have been doing forty thousand megawatts today. So where is the one twenty billion? It was consumed. That's why servicing it has become impossible. Because you chop the money. And if not servicing it will be easy. Le le because the more you borrow, it's supposed to increase your value, your per capita, servicing it becomes easy. But when you borrow money for picnic and say more burial, you're, you're finished.